So Wellington, we're, we're here at training Thursday evening, last kind of few preparations ahead of Sunday's game. I'd imagine though the, the mood amongst the players is, is pretty good after that win against Sheffield last weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's it's always uh, good to have a uh, win on the weekend and then building towards uh, that. So all the boys, uh, uh, we had like, you know, a few celebrations and that, but now it's uh, switched on to Featherstone now. So the boys are, you know, really looking forward to that uh, Featherstone game. A win is a win on the weekend, but it's, it's all gone now. So all the boys are really looking forward to this game. So is that the message really from, from Mike this week that, you know, well done, a brilliant performance, but, you know, it's not done yet. We've, we've got plenty more games to go and this one's just as important as last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th that was the message from Mike as well. You know, uh, we haven't uh, started really well uh, last weekend against Sheffield. So our start is really huge this weekend against uh, Featherstone and uh, we really, you know, start up pretty strong and uh, uh, we can't you know really uh, do that against good team like Featherstone so the performances over the last few weeks they've been getting better and better and you know that second half performance was was exactly what what Mike would have been after but I suppose the challenge this weekend is to do it for 80 minutes right yeah yeah uh, last weekend like we we didn't uh, really played like we normally train and uh, as played as uh, last couple of uh, weeks ago but uh, I think we pick up on that second half and uh, we have to build it from there. So from straight from the kickoff to the final whistle, we have to you know, perform like last, we did second half last week. Let's talk about you. Um, you joined the club, Wellington, you had some, some injury problems, but the last few weeks we've yep. been seeing you, you play more and more. How are you feeling, you know, being back on the pitch, but also, you know, being a, a proper London Bronco first team player? Yeah, yeah it's been uh, challenging for me, uh, to be honest. Uh, came over here uh, with injuries so I've been you know working really hard with uh, the medical staff as well on my injury and uh, I came back on play four games and then find another you know little calf injury again so now I'm back with uh, you know team and uh, you know start to you know build my fitness and uh, combination with the team again so it's kind of uh, start again and build up but uh, positive stuff like uh, you know playing a long minute and stuff like that so it's just alright. You're a hugely experienced player at the international level, Super League level as well. I mean you must be really desperate to, to get on the pitch and really have a positive impact on, on this team because you know I won't lie Wellington, quite a lot is expected of you. Yeah, yeah. you know I've been you know with a few clubs before but you know I'm really keen to, you know, do my part here as well because uh, I've been uh, pretty much out of the game and uh, due to injuries, so I'm, you know, slowly building up into it and hopefully a few couple of uh, more games and get a few more wins as well. Are you enjoying life here in London with your teammates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. London's good, like compared to up north, like you know, <laughs> nothing pretty much to up north, but uh, London's like every time you got something's going on around and stuff like that so enjoying at the moment yeah so let's talk then about sunday it's, it's featherston um, we know where they are in the league table it's a yeah. big challenge isn't it but i'd imagine the mood in the camp is, is confident so, so this is a, maybe a good opportunity to be playing them is that fair yeah yeah it's always uh, it's always good to you know play against uh, the best team because that's the time you play your best game as well so uh, the boys are really pumped, uh, they're really looking forward to it because uh, last time Badly, you know, uh, beat them as well. So if Badly can beat them, why not us?